This is the Plasticity Crash Course. Over the course of the next few videos, I'm gonna pretty much show you all of the tools in Plasticity, the workflows, and even go ahead and make some models with Plasticity. Now, first, I need to say a massive disclaimer. Plasticity is 100% still in development. It is nowhere near finished at all, but I see such potential for it that I have to show you now because the more people that get in now to play around and really break it and give some decent feedback, the better the tool will be by the end of it. So if you want to give feedback, support, and all the rest, there's going to be links underneath all of the videos as well as the top comment. Now, do keep in mind that things will break. They're going to go absolutely haywire because this is very much still in development. The version that all of these videos are going to be made on is version 0.5.4. One. So if you go above this or below this number, I cannot say that any of this will be applicable because plasticity is very much in a fluid state and could completely change come its release. So just be aware of that. So with that said, let's go ahead and let's grab plasticity. Editing Jonathan here. So just a couple of extra little points that I want to put in here. There is a website, go to plasticity3d.com, and there is going to be all the links as well as letting you know what the most stable version is, updates, how to get news things, and all the rest is all going to be there. On top of that, I need to say that this is an open beta. This is not a free piece of software. This will become a paid piece of software once it's out there. And that means that currently, all of these free versions do have expiry code inside of them. So from the release, there's usually about three months before that release is basically obsolete. I just need to make that very clear. This is after talking to Nick. He, I asked him a whole bunch of questions, hard truths, and that is what I got in response. So just letting you know, it's still a great program. So let's get straight into it. The quickest and easiest way of getting plasticity is by going to plasticity3d.com. It's a little page that I've created with Nick and it has a whole bunch of links, downloads, information, and so much more. It's gonna be filled up with a lot more with time. So right here, the most recent stable build, that's the one we're wanting to work with. Here is also the shortcut sheet as well as the feedback suggestions and notifications if you want to get more information about this in the future. So let's click it right here. This will take you straight to the GitHub of the most stable build, which currently is a 0.5.41. If you're wondering how I know that, that is actually mentioned in the Discord community of Plasticity. So if you're a PC user, click right here. I am that, so I'm gonna click it right there. For Mac, it might be this one here or that one there. I'm not entirely sure because I don't have a Mac myself, so I'll let you go and try that out. Then once you've downloaded it, click it, get it installed, and then we'll dive right in. With it now downloaded for PC users, just double click it and it'll start in Installing, just be aware of that because Nick is an unregistered company. You might get a little pop-up saying, are you sure? Do you trust this? And it's up to you there if you trust Nick or not. I trust Nick and thus I installed his program. With it installed, you should have a shortcut somewhere. So let's click it and let's get in. Now inside of Plasticity, the first thing that I want to do is go over to my key bindings here and change it to Blender. This is because I'm a Blender user and I want to use Blender navigation. Now Blender navigation is really simple. It is the middle mouse button to rotate around, shift and the middle mouse button to pan around, and you can use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, or you can hold down control and the middle mouse button and that lets you zoom in and out as well. Now, I want to just quickly preface how to make a new file, how to save, how to reload and all of that. So a new file, that is control N to reload plasticity when things go a little bit funny sometimes, that is control R. Again, whenever I'm saying control, it can be command for a Mac. And then if you want to import something, it is control O and that brings up the import. Now you can import step IGES, SAT, and C3D currently. And when we're saving with control S, we can save in a few formats as well. The format of plasticity is C3D. You can also save as step IGES, SAT, and OBJ, and we'll cover OBJ a little later on. So all of these three buttons are up there. 
Now let's talk about the UI just a little bit. Right here on the left hand side, when we're creating solid and curves, they'll appear right here. This here are all the selection properties and we'll cover those in a moment. These here are all of the visibility properties and we'll cover that also in a moment. This here is our little 3D gizmo to move around. All of these top tools right here, this is for curve creation and these right here are for solid creation. As you can see, whenever you mouse over one of these, it tells you the name and if there's a short cut to it, it will also tell you the shortcut. Here we have a lovely undo history and right here we have a snapping which lets you turn on and off the snapping. There is such thing as construction planes and that will be explained later on. We have our clipboard and some performance statistics as well. Now there is one more thing that I want to show you which is going to appear right down here. So keep looking down there because I need to make something to show you. So just carry on looking down there. Don't worry about what I'm doing here. You'll just see that as I do operations, things are going to start to pop up in that region. So now that I've done a couple of operations, let me just do one more here. So there you have it. We have some things that have popped up here. Now, the best way to think of this is sort of like an undo timeline. It's not a timeline in the sense of CAD, but it is definitely for undoing. Now, you won't be able to follow me at this point, but that's totally fine. I'm just going to show you what it is. So I have this solid selected. I can Alt and click back to a state where I had it here. Now I can right click to confirm going back to that point in time. I can press Control C to add it to my clipboard here. And then I can press Alt and click back on there to go back to the most recent and then right click to confirm to go back to that point. Now, why am I showing you all this? Because now, as I have this saved my clipboard, I can click it. It's now been added. I have two solids here. I'm going to select this other solid. I'm going to move it out. The move tool is G for grabbing like in Blender and I'll pull it out. I'll right click to confirm that. And as you can see, that historical sort of undo step, I was able to copy at that point and bring it in. Now, this still has the history of where it came from, but as you see, right here is that move. So just be aware of that. So for instance, if I were to go here and do some sort of edit to it now, it's now got an edit after that move. So if I were to click here, so, Alt and click, it's moved it back to this spot here. I want it to go back to over here and right click and confirm that. So that's what I wanted to show you. Okay, so that there is the UI in a nutshell. And in the next video, we're gonna actually go and make something. Now, if you wanna share what you're making or get a little bit of help with Plasticity, you can join the MakerTales Discord where I have a Plasticity channel right there, or you can try and join the Plasticity Discord and information for that will be down in the description or in the top pinned comment where I'll be keeping that as up to date as possible. If you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, you can join this lovely group of esteemed people, my lovely patrons. Thank you so very much. And a big thank you to my VIP makers, Jem Oskinacht and David Fernandez. It really means means the world to me. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.